everyone! Welcome back to Rita Roo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today I'm so excited to share another awesome book with you. If you're as excited as I am, be sure to give this video a thumbs up below and don't forget to click subscribe. That way, every time we post a new story, you and I can read together again right away. We also have activities that go along with our books every single month. So to get those, head over to readaroukids.com. All right, today's book is called The Way Home for Wolf by Rachel Bright and Jim Fields. Let's get started. The Way Home for Wolf by Rachel Bright and Jim Fields. As a rainbow of lights flickered soft in the night, dusting diamonds of ice in a desert of white. The wild, whipping wind, it whistled its tune to a howling of wolves and a shimmering moon. The loudest arrow in his echoing song was a wolfling called Wilf at the heart of the throng. He loved to be fierce and longed to be grown. He liked to try everything all on his own. Look at me, I am big, I am tough, he would growl while he showed off his strength and practiced his prowl. One night it was time for the wolves to move on. New folks had moved in and their shelter was gone. So they left right away to find a new cave. They would have to walk far and they'd have to be brave. Let's go, shouted Wolf. I am ready to lead. You're too small, laughed the wolves. It's an elder we need. One day, they advised, you will guide from the front. I suppose, muttered Wolf with a huff and a grunt. They struggled through snow as high as their flanks and leapt over rocks as they scaled icy banks. Wolf gave his all to keep pace and keep up, but strong-willed as he was, he was still just a pup. He kept dropping back with each clamor and climb as the pack journeyed farther away at the time. Exhausted and breathless, he stayed off track. When a blizzard blew in, and he lost his way back. So the wolves were leaving footprints and he was following them, but now when it snows, there's no footprints here. Wolf longed to howl, help, and to holler it loud, but his throat was too hoarse and his heart was too proud. He lay on the tundra, his tail curled up tight, a blanket of stars, was his bed for the night. Crack, went the ice. Crack, and creak. Wolf jumped to all his, will jump to all fours with a deafening shriek. He stuck out the claws on every limb. He had to hold on because wolflings can't swim. Then he fell and he fell, rolling and spinning. It felt like the end, but was just the beginning. Since somebody down there had heeded his scream and he swooped from beneath like a watery dream. I'll help you, she called. Just reach for my horn, a majestic and magical sea unicorn. Wolf's pride washed away and he stretched out a paw as she lifted him gently back onto the shore. Don't worry, she sung before dipping her brows. My friend, Mr. Walrus, will help you out now. And there, right behind him, a huge tusky fellow lifted his whiskers and let out a bellow. To the ridge, he proclaimed with his chin in the air. My friend, Mighty Muskox, will take you from there. And with waftings of fish and a very loud snort, their journey was made and their travel seemed short. And there, sure enough, on the ridge was the ox, who took Wilf as far as his friend, Arctic Fox, who followed his nose through the trees to a goose, 
who guided him honking to this ancient moose. The moose knew these wilds like no other soul. He was steady and true in pursuit of their goal. And as twilight closed in, moose sang out a call to a flittering, fluttering, tiny fluff ball. A bear moth who showed Wilf the rest of the way to the place where this wolfling most wanted to stay. Thank you, Wilf waved as he rejoined his pack and the wolves howled with joy that their wolfling was back. They huddled him in and cuddled him close and fussed over which wolf had missed him the most. Wilf, he knew then that when all came together, the darkest of times are easy to weather. So he bowed to the Norwal, ox, walrus, and goose, and vowed to the fox and the moth and the moose. If ever I meet one who strayed off their track, I'll help them along by guiding them back. And true to his word, Wilf is different now, and his world seems much smaller and warmer somehow, since wherever life takes you, wherever you roam, we're all just a handful of friendships from home. I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. To make sure that we can do that, be sure to click the subscribe button below and don't forget to give this book a like. That way we know you wanna see more books just like this from us. If you'd like activities to go along with our books, you can head over to readaroukids.com. There we do all kinds of fun things like science experiments, arts and crafts. We even practice our math and reading skills. We cook together. We have so much fun. So I hope you'll come on over there and join me. If you'd like to see what we're up to every day, you can head over to all of our social media. Again, I loved reading with you today and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Rita Roo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.